<laughs> Hi everyone, uh, Dr. Beth Westy here and... What do I look like? <laughs> <laughs> and Celia <laughs> in her unicorn jammies all day. <laughs> so, so what did you want to tell everyone on Facebook with your unicorn jammies on? Nay! Nay. Nay. All right. Now are you going to get ready for bed? Hmm. No? Okay, can you go brush your teeth for mom? Okay. I'm going to talk about cleansing. I'm going to talk about cleansing. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. All right. You go brush your teeth and I'm going to talk about cleansing and then you can come back down. Okay. All right. Yay! Even unicorns need to cleanse. No. <laughs> So, I've gotten this question recently. Um, hi, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, and uh, in honor of my upcoming book, The Female Fat Solution, and the program that I have out. So, if you have questions on eating for your hormones, um, getting more protein, being healthier, getting energy, all those things, click on the link that's attached here, and you can get information about the nutrition program that I have. Details everything out. There's meal plans, uh, grocery lists, recipes, all the support material you would need to be successful. And then there's also my cookbook, and there's other weekly videos that you get. Again, so much more information to arm you with the most that you would need um, to get and stay healthy. So uh, the question I've gotten recently on cleansing, why cleansing? Why is this necessary? Do I really need to cleanse? What's happening here? And the, the benefit with um, doing cleansing is that it really refreshes your body. Now, there's a, several different types of cleansing. Some cleanses will focus on a specific... Um, organ or body area and oftentimes people will think they need to cleanse if you've been exposed to something um, say black mold or some other type of toxin that you're like oh this isn't good I don't want this in my system uh, or if you're just feeling kind of sluggish you're feeling like my digestive system isn't doing well um, or maybe you indulged a little bit maybe there was some um, festivities with the uh, St. Patrick's Day I, maybe I don't know. I'm just saying. You know, maybe maybe you want to do your liver a favor then and say, hey, thank you, thank you, liver. Do a cleanse, liver cleanse. Mm, you know, things like that. So there's always some great reasons to to cleanse, to refresh your body, and if, um, and detox. Um, oftentimes people will say, well, I want to do a cleanse. What type of cleanse is best for me? Or how do I know what I'm doing? How do I know I'm getting the right cleanse in? Since there's so many different things out there and there's a lot of ways to do this, uh, first things first is that your body actually is designed to do detoxification on a regular basis on its own. So the liver is the de de detox organ. Like, that's what it does. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hence the being nice to your liver after St. Patty's Day. You know, that's right. Hi, Katie! Oh, cellular cleansing is amazing. Yes, it is. Um, yes, cellular cleansing is amazing. Um... Now, when we talk about cleanses, detoxes, all that stuff with the different types of them, um, and ones that are, I go through in, my, uh, in the program are actually focused more on a cellular cleanse and, and, and a fasting cleanse. So that's targeted at burning fat, boosting your metabolism, and it improves your digestive system. Um, it also really works with uh, letting your digestive system rest. So um, that's how it improves that. But it, burning visceral fat, you know, a lot of toxins, a lot of junk gets locked in your visceral fat cells that need to be released. And I'll just draw that really, really quickly down here. So, for example, people get, you know, fat cells here and they're like, why can't I lose weight? My fat, you don't get more fat cells when you gain weight or lose weight or whatever. They just change in size. That's another big misconception that people don't understand. So your fat cells blow up like a balloon and you're like, how do I get rid of it? you got to get the energy out of it. Going through a cellular cleanse is one way to really target that specifically. So this is where people are like, oh, I'm exercising. I am eating really healthy. I am doing all the right healthy things, yet why am I not getting these results that I think I should be getting? Boom, cellular cleanse, a fasting cleanse, that's going to target those fat cells that get you the result. So that's a big difference when you're looking at what's the right thing for you. Um, this does so many fantastic things for the body and I recommend this type of intermittent fasting for people on a regular basis because of what it does to your body systems and organs naturally. Now this is something that's very safe to do as long as you um, kind of are doing it in the right manner. But another thing that, um, 
other types of cleansing uh, c that can really help our intestinal cleansing is one that people are most familiar with. And that is doing something that's just going to clean out your intestines. So sometimes people are drinking something that they have to go to the bathroom a lot or, you know, kind of flushes out their guts. Um, that is a very different type of cleanse. Now that can be helpful if you're really looking at getting something um, to change very rapidly in your body. Uh, the only difference is, is that the results of it are more short-term as well. So when you're doing, say, a cleanse or something like that, if you're really limiting your, um, your food intake and doing a, a cellular cleanse, the effects of a cellular cleanse actually last in your body for three weeks. That's amazing. So when you're doing this type of fasting, you're, you go through this one day and you get the effects for three weeks. Other cleanses and things like that, you have to take this cleanse stuff every day or you have to constantly be cleaning out your intestines to have it be effective. Otherwise, the next time you eat a cheeseburger, you know, there you go. You just ruined the cleanse. Um, Jessica said she's doing a cellular cleanse starting tomorrow. Woo! Nice! Yeah. Yeah, the cellular cleanse is, is really, really different. Um, there's other cleanses and things out there. Some of them are called estrogen cleanses or... Um, like liver cleanses specifically, a lot of times they're just taking a different type of intestinal cleanse and grouping it in with other things or, you know, maybe adding a different herb or a tea or something that's supposed to target a different organ system. Overall, those are still the same. There's other cleanses that, I mean, going through Cairo school, there was, I can't tell you how many different companies that were there and that targeted us for different types of products and everything. And one of them I remember was you were doing to do a cleanse for an entire week. You could eat as much green vegetable as you wanted, but you just picked one a day. Like you picked if broccoli was your vegetable that day, you could have as much broccoli as you wanted, but it was just broccoli that day. And then the next day it was asparagus or whatever. And then say it was cucumber or whatever. Okay. Well, uh, sure you're getting some vitamins in there, but really like when I think about some of the stuff that, that I did or that people told us to do, I was like, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Like, why would, why would that be a good thing long term like that? If, you know, what does that actually do? That's messing with your blood sugar levels. You're not getting proteins in, you know, what? So there's so many different things out there. It can be really tough to know what the right thing is for you or how you're going to get the right result. And really, um, sometimes I will recommend people boosting their body with nutrient. Oh, she's back. <laughs> you have crazy hair, lady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you singing the anime, Animaniacs? You're singing the Animaniacs. So sometimes a cellular cleanse, um, or sometimes an intestinal cleanse can be helpful if you're doing it for a day, or something to add in daily. Like if your digestive system is really not moving, you're like, oh, I really need to get this this going. I, um, I just... I, I need to go to the bathroom more regularly or something like that. That's great to add in like a daily or a morning or an evening intestinal cleanse that'll kind of move things along. Um, but long term, you want to have your body working well enough on its own and keep the results for as long as possible. So that's where the cellular cleanse or the in intermittent fasting really comes into play. So if you're wondering about this, if you're like, I don't know if I've never done one before. I, would this be the right thing for me? Or I'm really struggling with a lot of different things in my life or I'm really struggling getting these results. Why can I not see the results that I think I should be seeing? You know, it's, it's, I think it's technically spring, right? Isn't it? Didn't, didn't spring or is it spring right like tomorrow or something like that or something? Does anybody know? Does anybody know when spring officially is here? But when spring is here, summer's coming. I want to look great. I want to feel great. I want to be healthy and strong. I should be there or getting closer to there than I am right now based on all the things I'm doing. Why is that not happening? Oh, yes, today is, today is spring. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. <laughs> yes, yes, happy, happy spring then, everyone. <laughs> well, it's, it's spring-ish, so, sort of. So, um, so if this is you, if you're wondering, I, I really want to get in better shape here. I want to get in, in a healthier place then sometimes even just choosing one of these things is going to be helpful. So doing a cellular cleanse is going to set you up fantastic for the future. And again, you get to keep these results for three weeks. Three weeks of still doing things in your body, physiologically changing things in your body for three weeks. We're just going through one day of this. That's amazing. So I love helping people through this. I love taking people through 
uh, an intermittent fast or a cellular cleanse. I love sharing uh, with women about how to eat for your hormones and about how to get more protein into your diet and how that's going to change your results and how you feel and, and, and everything else. So if you um, found this information helpful, click the share button. Um, otherwise, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yay for cleanse days, yay. <laughs> I know sometimes people are like, why would I, why would I cleanse? Like, I don't get it. I'm pretty healthy. I'm fine, you know. And that's true. Again, if you're really good even about everything that you come into contact with. Oh, I, I, I clean, um, clean food, organic. I don't have any gross, you know, chemicals in my house. I really, I'm really, really good there. You still have chemical processes happening within your body that, uh, yeah, that still can damage your body system. So stress is one of them. When you have a lot of stress in your body, it will, it causes a damaging effect. So yes, stress is necessary and everything else, but um, this is one of those really important things that you need to get under control and really reset your body. This is a great way to reset. Whew, okay. Anyway, so if you guys have questions, if you would like to know more information, please let me know. You can click on the link to learn more about the nutrition program that I have that encompasses all of these things. It's a lot and it's a lot to go through, which is why I have it all laid out for everyone to get some really fantastic results. Um, oh, the mental clarity alone. Yes, I'm smarter on cleanse days. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Well, a lot of times um, people notice that they feel better or brighter or more refreshed is because um, it really improves your digestive system and that helps you get more nutrients from everything. It's amazing. I know, it's amazing. So you, you will feel the difference, you know, for weeks. It's fantastic. So, all right. Um, please let me know if you have questions. Comment below. Message me if you're not comfortable commenting. I'm totally fine with that. And um, yeah, and I will see you guys tomorrow. If today's not the first day of spring, then maybe it's tomorrow. So happy spring. <laughs>